Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It is me, your girl Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to Ren Violet's Tale. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, Ren is a nail biter, and as a recovering nail biter myself, I can identify one as soon as I see it. Um, anyway, this like Spanish guitar themed trilogy just is perfection. You know, Ren to me is a very heroic artist in the sense that he is not afraid to make great music, but in really sad form. Like his subject matter is really real and raw and dark, but so true. And I think coupled with just the good music that he plays and his voice and the story characteristic styling that he does to his voice it just it feels like everything is a movie everything is a part of a score to a movie you know what I mean like and then he does these visuals that are just as artistic and storytelling um which just makes him so much more than a musician than an artist you know he is Uh, he's so many things like you could never just place one title in front or after his name you never could um i enjoy the guitar in this se in this series of music so much like it just is so gorgeous and feels really pointed and intentional and um thoughtful like there is a reason he chose to play this very kind of spanish styled music. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? What? How many steps? Like that was just like eight steps down. Holy cow. Okay. When he did that really fast thing right before he started singing, it made me feel anxious. And then he starts doing this rock and I'm like, oh, that's exactly what that was meant to do was to, to place you in an anxious state. So you understood where this song is placed. Like, this is what I mean. This man is so far past music. It is like a psychological experience. I gotta hear that again. That was crazy. London City, far from pretty, too. Zero, zero, five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains. She saw a lady weep. She's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. So he said rhythmic beats and bloody sheets. So like, like the machines is what I'm assuming. Like the, the heart, you know, the heart monitor, all the machines, you know, maybe a breathing machine that feels like that's what the rhythmic beats were. And then bloody sheets is, you know, what it is. Um, he said 2005. So I'm assuming he's taking us back in time, kids, to my junior year at high school. <laughs> Ooh, child. I'm 
old. I'm not old. I'm not old. But like to think about like, I feel like some days I just woke up and like graduated high school. And then some days I'm like, I'm married with two children. And I'm like, dang, if 15 year old me <laughs> would look at me now, she's like, girl, what? What? <laughs> anyway, sorry. This is not about me. It's about Ren and Violet. I just had a moment when he said 2005. <laughs> A silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16. A semi detached council flat paid for by a welfare scheme. Pa wow. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot. So Violet has a past, a dark, deep, twisted past. <clears throat> you know, I love that um most times music videos uh are pre-recorded music do you know what I mean um they the artist is lip syncing to their song it's just a easy way to make sure everything is perfect for the for the record label right like it sounds exactly like it's supposed to sound I love that in Ren's music videos you can literally hear him take a deep breath you can hear him hitting his guitar you can see the microphone on the hospital gown um which either makes filming really hard because how many takes or that just proves how good he is if he can do this in one or two takes like there's no mess ups vocally I can't imagine he's having to start over also with playing the, the guitar like you know what I mean if if anything they're doing it a bunch of times for the angles and things but again he's singing live so that's the challenge that's not easy um so I think as an artist an artist would give major props to him for the you know, courageousness to, to film your videos with live audio. That's wild. Stacking shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks. She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl and Violet, she fell fast. See, Stevie was the wrong and the Isha knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. History Repeats itself. He paint her black and blue. Oh. She never stood a chance. The devil comes to dance. dance. Oh man, Ren. Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She oh, I mean, even the blur of him taking the eyes and pinching them up and then the screen, the, the camera, like, um, you know, it's not blurry anymore. It cleared up. Oh, this is... This is such, it just is so, I can't, I, 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 I'm lost, I'm lost. I know, I just wanna, I, I. He stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fist when they fall like a crashing pilot. Jesus. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood black bone, crack, knick, knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why you always so silent, Violet? Why you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. In well, character. say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Uh oh. Wait. Say Ren. 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 
Karen is truly the artist for the broken, for the tormented, for the wronged. Like he is the voice of the the people. Jeez, this is, I feel slightly triggered, (laughs) really sad, but also just in awe of the thought process that has to go into in like the the places he has to go mentally to create this art is har- both heartbreaking but again brave you know say something violet not one word she stays quiet <laughs> London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet, she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side She had twins? A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Yo! Hello, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the playlist is... Just, ah. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Screech unalived his sister? Y'all, some of you were telling me I should have watched this as the like long form, like 13 minute video. Um... And I'm really glad I did it because I don't think I would have been able to handle it. Like getting it in three parts has given me the ability, I think, to process properly. (laughs) Uh, There is so much to unpack here. Wow. To say I didn't see that coming is a very, 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 I mean, it's such an understatement. Like... And I think this goes to say that sometimes you can be born into torment. Sometimes you can be born into like badness. Do you know what I mean? Like think about what he just told us about Violet and how she grew up with her father. And then she did repeated the same cycle with who I'm assuming to be the father of her children she lost her life giving birth to the children, which is both a tragedy and a miracle. And then these children were born into unfortunate circumstances. Like they, one seemed to have gone down the wrong path and the other one lost her life because of it. But where did he unalive his... We need to do a case study on Ren. Ren's brain needs to be examined because ha- what... <laughs> I just, how deep you have to go to even think of something like this and create it is like, wow. Y'all, there's so much to unpack and we don't have time. We don't have time. Let's talk about it in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. I know you guys go deep, deep, deep. Some of you study this work from Ren and you might have some answers for me. I'm overwhelmed. I'm inspired. I'm heartbroken. I'm confused a little bit. And all those things can exist in the same space. And I love Ren because Ren always does that. He does that. He leaves me thinking about life, about love, about tragedy, about mental health, like about all the things, spirit, soul, all of those. So let's talk about it. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another um, and go and have the day you deserve. Peace.